yes, I got COVID. Um, and I kind of just wanted to make a video talking about my experience so far. Uh, that way, you know, just in case you were ever curious, because uh, if you've never gotten it or if you've known anyone that's got it, it's just interesting to hear people talk about it because it's kind of like this, you know, crazy thing, obviously, that in everyone's lives. And also, I wanted to say there's, there's like no regular video today. I'm actually still working on uh, Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. I'm going to make a really, really long episode, so stay tuned, okay? And also, my symptoms, they're really not that bad. Um, they're not as, as bad as definitely they could have been. I am vaccinated. Um, I think I got my last dose somewhere in October, so I'm pretty sure that did play a part in the, the way that I feel now. I, I don't feel too bad, but I thought I would just make this video explaining like my symptoms and how I went through just in case you were ever curious, uh, you know, just, I don't know. I don't really like to make these kind of like personal videos to, like talking. I don't know why. I feel like I used to, but now I'm like, for some reason, don't want to do it. But when I watch YouTubers, YouTubers that I watch, when they make videos like this, I like to watch them because I'm interested. I like the person. And so, you know, I thought, I figured I'd just make this video for those people that, I guess, care. <laughs> so yeah, it was um, like a week ago now, I, I believe, we went to a concert in Dallas. Um, I It's been the first time I've been to a concert in a few years, ever since the pandemic started, because everything you guys know has it's been getting canceled. It's been, you know, it's been scary and, and just not knowing a lot. So just try to stay at home and not really go to many places. I... I wear my mask to the store. I wear it everywhere, um, even when a lot of people don't. I, I do wear my mask uh, out a lot. I and I, even before the pandemic, I've washed my hands all the time and um, take my vitamins. You know, I try. I try to do my best. Uh, but yeah, I mean, going to a concert full of people, obviously, you know, I'm not super shocked uh, that it did happen to me. But I'm just thankful that my. Um, Symptoms weren't nearly as severe as probably some other people and again, it's probably thanks to the vaccine But I I mean I, there, there's so many variables. I can't really say for sure. Just just what I think but Yeah, I just thought that you know, maybe finally after two years Maybe we can sort of return to normal. I've been vaccinated. So I went to a concert and then uh, You know, we stayed at a hotel so it could have been from anywhere it could have been from hotel passing someone I have no idea. I I have no idea, but it was probably the concerts um a few days after, um, you know, I felt fine, and then my throat started feeling a little bit weird, and then, uh, then I went to sleep, uh, then, like, the, the, that night, I uh, woke up with a fever, and so that was awful, I had to take a bunch of medicine for that, it was, like, 101, so it was not the worst that it could have been, but, uh, yeah, it was still not pleasant, uh, and then I woke up the next day, and my fever was thankfully gone, uh, and then I had this awful headache, um, I had... Uh, I was like dizzy and I felt nauseous and I was trying to eat, but I wasn't really all that hungry and it was the weirdest thing So after like an hour or two from just like kind of sitting there Bam, I I felt better like all all the symptoms went away And it was it was the weirdest thing. I can't even really explain it But I felt good and I was good for like that day and then like the next day and then my throat started to hurt and I'm thinking oh, okay uh, and then I went to sleep and I woke up again the next day my freaking uh, throat felt like I'd swallowed razor blades. I don't know if you guys have ever had strep throats. I have had strep throats many times in my life. Uh, probably because I never got my tonsils taken out. Because uh, that honestly terrifies me, the thought of someone doing that. I don't know. I, just don't, I don't like it. I never wanted to do it. <laughs> uh, uh, anyway, I, I've got strep throat. I remember um, when I was in high school, I got like a really bad case of strep throat where I, I felt like I was going to die. That's honestly how it felt like because I remember I, I was like, I couldn't see. I had this awful fever. It was really bad. Just can't eat anything, can't swallow. Like, it got so, so bad. I went to the hospital, and luckily, you know, I did get better. But I thought that I had that. So I thought, okay, if I'm ha if I'm feeling this, I thought maybe it was just like a, like the a cold or flu or something with a fever that went away. But I went to the doctor to get tested for strep throat, and they were like, oh, we're going to test you for COVID. And I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, I've actually never been tested for COVID, so it was going to be the first time. And they, they pull out this big old swab thing, and they uh, I thought they were going to check my throat because I told them that I, I thought I had strep throat. And they uh, like started, uh, uh, <laughs> I started opening my mouth, and they put it up my nose. And I'm like, Ugh. So that was really unpleasant because, again, that's the first time I've been tested. And so and they stuck the sucker. They really jammed that thing in there, man. Uh, but it did clear my airways. Like I felt I was like, I can really breathe right now. So uh, that was interesting. So about 10 minutes later, I'm sitting in the in the doctor's office and they're like, yep, you got COVID. And I said, oh, really? <laughs> I think that's exactly what I said, really? 
because that was just uh, interesting news. But again, like I said, I wasn't ex extremely shocked because we went into a place that was crowded full of people. You know, th I thought it would be okay. And uh, I kind of knew that, you know, it was possible even being vaccinated to possibly get sick. And I just, I just thought, man, I'll probably, it probably won't happen, but it did. And the doctor gave me this paper. She's like, okay, uh, tell your boss that you can't come into work uh, until this day. And I was like, I got just like a motion, just a flat, a flood of like a, of memories of like my old jobs, uh, back when I was able to do that. Cause as you know, you know, I make videos online. I'm a YouTuber. And so I, I don't really have a boss to do that. I, I thought about sending it to Susan Wojcinski for a second. Maybe I should send it into YouTube, but it doesn't really work that way. But it just, uh, it, it did give me a, like, I for a minute, I was like, hey, maybe I do have a boss I should send this to. Like, it felt like, uh, felt like I was back working at Walmart or something. It, it was uh, really interesting. But, uh, yeah, the doctor just told me to obviously quarantine until a certain date. I don't think it's as long as it used to be. Um, but, yeah, so, I mean, it's really not that hard to do because this is what I do all the time. I'm always constantly home. I think my neighbors probably think that I'm dead or something sometimes because yeah, we just don't leave. Um, but, but I'm used to it, especially with the whole pandemic. That's just, it's just become a normal thing just to basically hardly ever leave. Um, so yeah, the symptoms now, uh, that I'm feeling, um, it's been like a day or two since I've been to the doctor. Uh, nothing too crazy. I did try to chase my dog in the yard cause she was like digging a hole. So I was trying to get her to stop. And, uh, like I only ran around for a little bit and I felt like I ran 10 miles. I was like, like I was taking deep breaths to catch my breath. And that's when I first, that's when I first realized, oh crap, um, I'm more tired than I think I was or than I thought I was. Like I was so worn out from just doing that little thing. And like, I'm not in the best shape ever, but I, I just doing that little amount of, of like running around my backyard, like felt, it felt, I, I, I couldn't breathe very well. So I realized that's probably one of the side effects is that, you know, it, it's fatigue and, uh, you know, you can't really do a lot of strenuous activities. And then yesterday, uh, I, I was recording Five Nights at Freddy's, uh, and trying to get through the game. And it was just really hard for me to, to focus. So I don't know if you will be able to see that in the video, but I'm just kind of like, <laughs> like that, you know, I feel like that's how I was with the whole video. So I apologize if I look a little weird on some videos, I feel, I'm feeling okay now. Like my sore throat is completely gone, but right now I'm just kind of. Yeah, like last night I felt super, super tired, like I was drunk, or if I've taken some sleeping medicine. That's what it felt like, and uh, I, I couldn't focus. So I don't know if that was brain frog, brain frog. <laughs> I really just said brain frog. Yeah, it was brain. I, so I think that's brain fog, uh, which I think is one of the symptoms. Like I, I'm not the most knowledgeable person. I just wanted to make this video to explain like what I'm going through as a vaccinated person that that, that caught it. You know, I, I'm, I'm assuming it's the new variants. You know, there's always a new one coming out. I don't really. It's really hard to keep up with it. I'm just, again, thankful that my symptoms were not as crazy. So the, really, that's like what I'm really just thankful that that I'm not too bad. I, I don't think it's going to get very much worse. I've been sneezing a little more today. But uh, yeah, I haven't lost my sense of uh, taste or smell yet, which I'm thankful for. And uh, <coughs> it's just coughing. I'm sorry that I don't make a lot of videos like this. I, I feel like I used to, but I just kind of scared to let people in. I, I feel like I'm a little weird. I know a lot of YouTubers say that they're introverts, but I, I really do feel that way. And uh, I, I, I don't know. So I just apologize because I know when YouTubers I like make videos like this. I, I, I like those kinds of videos. I like to like, you know, get let into their lives a little bit and, 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 it's just interesting to me. So uh, for what it's worth, I hope that this video was a little, at least a little helpful. Uh, I, I guess you would call me one of the per people with like lighter symptoms. I, I do want to get back to working out because like it's, it seems like every time I try to progress like in the gym, like uh, I try because I'm trying, you know, I just sit here all day. So I try to work out. I always take a break. So I guess we're going to be reset again. But yeah, expect a really uh, big episode of Five Nights at Freddy's. And I just want to thank you guys so much for the support. I'm just very blessed and thankful that I have this opportunity to be able to be at home and to, to, you know, work from home. And I just can't thank you guys enough for just all the support and, uh, just want to give you an update. All right. That's about it guys. Uh, yeah. Love you guys. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.